Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about table row, edit, delete, and save mode. So how we can perform this task in this table, it is very easy and very simple to perform the edit, delete, and save. So here is the example where you can see the table and the rows which is having the checkbox. So while I click on this edit, it is saying select the row to edit or delete. The same way while I click on delete, so it is showing the pop-up which is saying select the row to edit or delete. So while I select any of the row like here, this vehicle number I have selected and I'm performing the edit. So this edit mode will get activated and here you can see type, select type, status, select status. So this all are coming as a drop down. So once it is coming as a drop down, I can select here the select type. So if the select type you want to change, you can change this with the vehicle number. Whereas vehicle number we can't change, which is like a given here so here like uh, we can select the car and if you want to select the status so generally we are modifying the status of the vehicle health color type and we used to save them so like this is the car and having here the end route and health is like 60 percent and alert type is attention so now i'm going to save this just clicking on this check so this is got saved here now suppose if i want to delete this record we can click here or suppose if it is uncheck again if i click it will say to select let's check this and now you can perform the delete so here it will come the vehicle number this is removed so same way in other rows also it is uh, the same method first you select the row for edit or delete so here i have selected this vehicle truck now i'm going to edit this so suppose if it is status available i'm saying out of service and this is truck now health rate you can make it 40% or whatever is required and you can save this data. So this is the way we can edit and delete. Uh, this is a really very simple uh, way to do this. Now let's see how we can edit and delete this record of the row in a table. So while you want to delete directly, it will ask this pop-up. So you can delete this and this toast message will come and you can close this toast message. So let's see how to do that. So here it is very simple. Uh, like uh, we have some of the variable which is given in an interaction. And this is having the component which is having the two variant. Del, uh, this is the default and then edit mode. So edit mode you can see here. So this component is given as a drop down, and if you want to come to the default mode, so in default mode directly you can here you will get this drop down in a component property. And then all good. So here you can change this critical or whatever. So this interaction. If I come to the component, so this component is created here, uh, generally this component, and the edit mode is given here. So we have to focus on here, like this component is having this mode, edit you can see 
and this is the default mode. So this edit mode having the drop down, which is getting set to here. So whatever will be your options, you can have here. If you come to the prototype, you can see the easy interaction. So setting the data is very easy. Just you select this and I kept this as a drop up and you can select and it will set. So once I click here, it will set to that. So this is the drop down here. And now coming to the this interaction here, you can see while I cancel this. Yeah, so come to the this and uh, one more time i will preview this how it is working for the cancel so now suppose if i want to uh first i am editing this so while i select this and go for edit and suppose if i don't want to edit any of the data i can click on the cancel it will go back to the previous default mode so the interaction which is given here for the cancel it will go to the default mode and once it is done here it is given the interaction which is saying edit mode to false and save mode to true so here we have the two uh, this save mode which is hidden here which is having the save button or icon and then the delete so same button is given here which is uh, just uh, showing which is uh, like uh, save is done and then if you want to perform the delete you can perform the delete in the second mode also so now coming to the front so here like suppose i'm going to delete one of the record so this is the record I'm going to delete here. And now you can see this is the table view, the component which is used. And I'm just copying this and making the third record. So what we need to do first, I have given the vehicle number in a variable. So here is the local variable and you can see uh, some of the row is defined like row one two three edit save tick one two three so which is like helpful for giving the interaction for the check or the row interactions now the next is the vehicle number so the vehicle number which is appearing over the toast like here so this is uh, true and false, the very easy like a uh, Boolean variable, which is assigned for the toast and the toast mess is here, which is showing the notification, vehicle number, any of the vehicle number. While we select that, that vehicle number will appear here. So vehicle number, this is removed. So this is for the toast message and the vehicle number, which is given here. So one of the E element which is like a vehicle number we have to mention here because we need those data in a toast message so while I added this so we'll start again and I will explain again how we can edit or customize this so this is uh, the row which I'm going to copy now here I'm going to change the vehicle number. So this is the vehicle number two. Simply just we select this, it will come the vehicle number three. Now the next, this is the checkbox. So checkbox we need to assign the value, which is already assigned check two here in appearance. So instead of check two, we have to assign the check three. So for that. Go to appearance, select this, check three. So now check three is assigned. 
there is one interaction while I click, it will get toggle, check select, unselect. So which is here, while you come to the prototype, you can see here, check to and all. No need to worry, just you need to change instead of check two, check three. So once the check three is false, it will become true. So instead of check two, you can select check three. And instead of check two, again, you have to select the check three. So this action is done. Now, no need to add it in a edit mode. So just uh, in a default mode only, we'll have the action to add that in interaction. So we will give the interaction on just default mode. Automatically, it will set in a edit mode. So next is, this is the row. While we delete this, it is going to hide. Means the Boolean value is going to be false. So here you can see in appearance, it is row two. So instead of row two, we have to be row three. So just right click and select the row three. Now this is row three. And now we have to check this two interaction, which is having the edit, come to prototype. And here just we need to change the same at check two instead of check two, we have to say check three. And here also the same action, check three. And then it will go to the edit mode. So just I have done the check two to check three. So just changing the variable. And here also check two instead, we can select the check three. And again, here check two instead check three. And this is the vehicle number. So now you can see the vehicle number is coming to and we have to select the vehicle number three. So it will helpful for the toast message or the notification while it is going to delete. So this is fine. And here instead of row two, we have to say the row three. So this is done. Now I'm going to preview whether it is working or not. So now it is here and uh, I'm going to select this. It is saying select the row to edit or delete. So I'm selecting this. I'm going to edit mode. And here, if I want to change the type, here is the vehicle number. If you want to change the vehicle number, you can go to the local variable. And here you can mention the vehicle number. So next. Here is the car truck fan. So if you want to select the truck, this vehicle number is for the truck. And then if it is end route, end route, and the life. So the weight health rate is like 80%, 80%. And then if it is a all good or attention, so you can select that. Now we'll click on this, check. And if you I want to return back, I can come back and whatever edit we have done, again, we need to do that. So if I want to return back, I will be on a default mode. If I want to edit again, so we can edit. So edit is done. Now perform the save, save is done. And now suppose I want to re uh, delete this record, I can click here and I can delete this record. So this vehicle number is removed. So this is very easy uh, action we can perform here through the variable interactions. So if you look at the uh, previous video where I have performed like a kind of filter, table filter uh, and uh, like a count the selected row, uh, the functions or the interactions all are similar. So just having the sum of the concept, which is like you can say Boolean variable. So if you use this Boolean variable concept, it will be very easy for 
any of the table. Edit, delete, selected row count, or either the filtering the table. So like this, you can add multiple rows. So you can edit or delete and the check perform like uh, once you have selected the check box, it will get toggle for the particular a single row. So if I go to the component and I give the like a uh, tick box as a like a uh, <clears throat> one of the component. So the uh, here you can see like here I have given this check box. So if I give here the interaction, it will work for the all. So it won't work here because uh, we have to perform for the one single row. So for that reason, we need to create a single checkbox and assign the value to the particular checkbox. And then the row, uh, suppose if I want to add it or delete, so row perform means uh, row and hide should be there. For that reason, I have created here the Boolean variable of row. Now the next is vehicle number. If you want to uh, show the toast message or the notification, you can have the vehicle number here and directly you can set the vehicle number here. So this is uh, like a toast. You can turn it true. And you can see like here, I have given the message vehicle number, which is written here. And this is the variable which is assigned like a vehicle number so you can see this while i select this it is here v number and this v number is created here so just i am setting the text how i am setting the text it is here in prototype here it is so target is V number, which is here. This is the V number. So this V number is setting the number of vehicle. So if you come here, you can see this V number is set with the vehicle number. So like this. So you can add multiple uh, at once also this is the auto layout so you can add multiple so it can expand easily and you can have that uh vehicle number one two three four if you want to perform all those delete at once it will appear here so this action and uh, then finally this overlay is given here so how this overlay is performing so the same way interaction you can see here is the small condition which is saying if check one equal to false so check one which is already created variable if it is false open the overlay so this screen will open if check one is true then directly it will move to the vehicle number so this toast and it will get uh, remove or you can say it will get false here. So before that, it will appear the vehicle number. This is removed. So you can add more animations for this toast uh, using the component delay and all. So this file is uploaded in Figma community. And uh, how is the trick? Please write on the comment for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.